welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing Supergroup Glow Screen, the new shade Golden Hour. So in case you guys are not familiar with it, I have done a video on Supergroup. I'll link it up right here before and trying some of their products from their PR package that they have sent it to me. And I guess we are in good terms now. They sent me another package. We are friends. And this time I'm trying their new Golden Hour. And I just want to compare a little bit and also just tell you guys my honest opinion about this specific product. So the difference is that like comparing to the unseen one, it's invisible. This one has a tint to it, hence it's called Glow Sunscreen. But I think the difference actually adds up, so let's get into it. So main thing I would say is active ingredients, right? They're actually essentially the same. The percentages might vary because this one is, you know, clear, so there's doesn't use as much chemicals to it versus this one, there's more chemical that needs to be mixed. Has the percentages might vary, but the filter, sunscreen filter, is the same filter, so it's not different. But this one, I would say, comparing the Unseen sunscreen, Unseen is more, although it says it's for all skin types, I would have to a little bit disagree with that. I would say it's more meant for oily skin type. Again, I'm not I'm not saying that dry skin type wouldn't be able to use it, not bad, but I would more necessarily say it's meant for oily skin type. But the glow, suns glow sunscreen, glow screen, this is more meant for dry skin types because, let me tell you guys, it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin B, which is good for hydration. So if you have water loss, that is great for that. Then it also has niacinamide, which is good for evening the skin tone. If you have like, you know, some pores or uneven tone, that's great for that. It also has sea lavender, which provides powerful antioxidant protection supporting a long-lasting hydration. Again, comes to the dry skin. Then lastly, this is something that like, I'm not sure if it is like an irrelevant, but it is good to add. It has cocoa peptides, which is, it shields the skin from blue light damage. One thing I would add this, then we can move on to this. I would say blue light damage is definitely something real that we know, but I don't know how much a protection, you if that's even real, I don't know. Because I have seen even people putting like, blue light mist, which essentially protects you from blue light damage. Is is that really do that? Like, is that a thing? Or, I don't know. Sounds great, marketing wise, <laughs> sounds great. Is that a real thing? We don't know. So, that is that little bit about the product. I'm going to swatch it and show you guys a little bit. And also what I wanna do, actually, half of my face, I wanna do unseen and half as if it's the glow screen and show you guys the difference. But I will also show you guys in my hand as well how it is. So let's start with this. So what I wanna mention is like actually first glow screen. This is actually, this, is, this product itself is not a new product. Only thing new about it is the new shade. So this shade is Golden Hour. Their initial shade that they have launched was called Sunrise which is more like a little bit tint, but it's it's like this, this, like because I am not super pale, but I am pale, so this is what it was. This one, it's more like your sun kissed, hence they're calling it golden hour, but I would say they should call it more like golden hour times two, like, because <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> I would say it's definitely darker for me, and that's why I wanna actually kind of get into it, and I wanna show you guys a little bit of the, the tint. First I will show on my hands. Like you guys see this is like this is dark. Like even for me I would say this is this is definitely dark. Again not bad but this is dark. Like imagine like putting this on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Not to say like this is bad. I think this is great for that, but I think it's more meant as like bronzer or even like a, someone might say it as like a highlighter because imagine normally this is where we are starting. It's like normally people don't use enough sunscreen. And if you want to use decent amount, which is I think like a teaspoon or something, like this is that is a lot. So if you use that much, right? You're going to look caked up essentially you're gonna look definitely darker and if you don't extend it all the way to your you know neck this is not gonna match with this so <laughs> that is like going in the orange category at this point i think the entire point i'm just looking to see like what is more to i can say about the 
ingredients, but I think the entire concept behind Supergroup, I have mentioned this a little bit in my previous video about the Supergroup, is like, I think it's, everything is meant to be layered. This is, I feel like they should have just said as like highlighter essentially, because I think they are meant more saying that like you would use this first, it's the unseen sun ring because it's you know invisible you can use it then you would use this on top of it but a little bit hence you look a little you know a little bit tan a little color but you don't look that caked up i think it becomes very artis artificial in a way and it's like a little bit orangey again not like it's bad i just feel like it's definitely dark for a lot of people like because I thought like I am not super pale, but I am pale So I feel like this is like no like it, it, I don't don't I don't think it's like this is making it and it's very glowy Like very glowy so you don't want to be using too much That's what I'm saying you can definitely use it as a highlighter like over your cheekbones that will go with that I just feel like it's not going to be I just wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't use it as like a sunscreen. I would use it like on top of it. Now let me put it on my face, show you guys the side by side on how it looks. So let me instead of coming close, let me zoom. Okay. Let's see if this one is gonna do the justice. Okay. So this is the half of it. I'm using it as like what I would use for a, like a normal sunscreen because I feel like we need to be realistic about this so this is the okay so this is the this side now let me wash my hands and do the other side <laughs> okay I'm back now let's do the other side with the invisible I mean this is invisible so you're gonna be able to you know I just feel like camera might not be able to pick it up so I will switch the lighting a little bit so you guys can <laughs> see but okay so let me fix the lighting a little bit because I, I feel like you guys cannot tell from this okay I have to go into the bathroom to do this but you guys can see this is definitely shinier this side and you guys see it's also like bent into my beard like the color this side versus this side is like my skin tone this is more like me when i am tan and i think it's not just the tan it's like definitely more glow like definitely shinier so that's what it looks like again i don't feel like the camera does the justice but in real life like you can see this is like this is me this is darker glowier me so I just feel like it's great to use as like a highlight or just to like little color to it because I feel like they should just essentially call this a, essentially I don't know tanner like <laughs> self tanner I think it's great for people who have darker color I think that adds to this but I would say this is not necessarily for people like my shade unless you want to use this like a bronzer highlighter that kind of stuff so i'll put these both down below but i would most likely use this one on a regular basis and i use it actually almost every day it's almost gone put them down below if, in case you want to check it out they're both the same size this one and they're actually the same price 36 dollars so put down below if you have any questions and comments so i will answer and i'll see you guys next week with another video Bye guys.